So we just landed here today in Boston for our eight day long training camp with uh, nine CTFL athletes, myself and then Koske, who will be here. And uh, yeah, we're here to get some good training in, races and uh, content. How's that, boy? It was great. Uh, it was nice to see the sun, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't nice, really see nice, much. Nice to know it still exists. Here, I went down that way. I'm from Boston. I'm really excited to, to meet new people. Obviously, I've never been to Boston before, so just being here is amazing. I'd love to explore the New Balance campus and what they have to offer. Of course, go to the flagship store. Uh, getting to know a little more uh, about the other CTFL athletes, and then as well racing at the Scarlet Meet. Thoughts on the 990s? They're super comfortable. Mm -hmm. Super, super comfortable, super stylish. Mm -hmm. I look like money. You get me? <laughs> but yeah, I love it. Hello, my name is Sadie Jane Hickson. I am an 800 meter runner with the Bears CTFL team. So my Boston trip started on Wednesday when Alec and I carpooled from Guelph to Holliston. And we came early because we competed at the Terrier Classic that was on the weekend. I ran 358.57, so that was, I was, I was very happy with that performance. Great way to start off the 2024 season. And I competed on Saturday, and so that involved commuting in and out of Boston both days and then coming here to the Airbnb. This is my inability to open doors. Help me. Look, I have, oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Alec and uh, Matthew, you guys are I don't know Alec too well. Uh, we've we've been in in meets together, so I've just been in passing with him. But I, I wouldn't say I know him super well. But uh, I'm looking forward to getting to know him a little better. Obviously, rooming with him here. All the other people, like I've seen him passing at track meets and stuff, but I don't necessarily know them too well yet. So I'm looking forward to building building relationships with them, and it's always nice to have more. Friends in the track and field community. See through curtain window. We'll have to communicate really well on. Uh, yeah. If anyone's in the tub. Oh, there's a toilet. <laughs> you can like, lock the door. That's what I said. There's a toilet. There. So this is creepy though. Initial thoughts? I really like it. Yeah, yeah. Some oh, s yeah. short ceilings. Definitely gonna have to duck my or remember to duck my head. Oh, I'm gonna end up with a concussion by the end of the week. But uh, yeah, no, I like the, I like the space. It's really nice. Yeah. Uh, see, checking out every cabinet in existence. I love this house. It's kind of an old design, I think. I love that there are two stairwells. I love that there are three floors. This room in particular is awesome. I would love to have this as like a master bedroom. It's nice, it's roomy, it's comfy. I could sleep right here if I really wanted to. I won't, but I could sleep right here if I really wanted to. <laughs> what was that? The bag? Yeah, made for 125 uses. And they're recyclable. It was pretty fun. It was just Matthew, Alec, and I uh, getting all the food. So we were all just kind of like, we had a list and we were just trying to like get as many things as possible. We forgot a couple things that were added on last minute. I was very surprised at how much food we have to get. Breakfast foods, uh, peanut butter, bananas, ton of rice, uh, pasta. The cart was like super full. We had a hard time pushing the cart. Uh, it weighed so much. Um, and then like, I felt so bad for the person, the cashier. I've never had a grocery bill that big before. I felt bad for the cashier because he just kept scanning and scanning and scanning. 403.7. This is exact. This is what's oh, gonna damn. be on the ball. <laughs> Our grocery bill, yeah. Money. $400 Canadian, so halfway through the budget already. Yeah, it sucks my wallet sometimes, but it's okay. <laughs> and Alec just came over and put in a bunch of Italian seasoning, so if it's bad, it's on him. It's a reasonable. <laughs> I did. I did contribute to it. I put a little bit of Italian seasoning in there. I tried to put a lot of Italian seasoning, but Quinn was like, "No, no, 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 no. Chill, chill out." <laughs> we ran on a trail nearby to where we're staying, and yeah, I got I got to know Sadie a little bit, so I'm glad I went. It was really nice to get to know Matthew because I I haven't interacted with him before this and so that run was like solid 37 minutes for us to get to know each other. <laughs> what spice do you have there? Oh, French blend. You gonna use it? It appeals to everyone. God, no. <laughs> <laughs> that French seasoning, oh my gosh, I don't, mm. 
Brandon made sure that he personally tasted all the spices before they went in. And I thought that was really important. Shows us how much he cares about us and our experience in his kitchen. I think it showed that we didn't have any garlic. Yeah, they forgot the garlic powder. I was like, no. Meat all champions. The seasoning's good? I'm about to add some more. <laughs> That answers my question. That doesn't answer the question. I'm just adding some more. Go eat at the kitchen. That's good. Hey, go eat it, but not a favorite. Not a favorite. I ate it though. Not a When you don't shake it. So he was like. We, we had, took a few wrong turns. We ended up going into the parking garage for some reason. And we were like, I don't think you need a ticket to get out. Anyway, we made it here. We ate some good spaghetti um, and it's been great to chat and get to know. Most people here, there's still a few missing, but so far so good. <laughs> I have everybody's shoes because there are just so many pairs of New Balance shoes that needs to be documented. <laughs> so. How's your sleep? That's good. Got like four hours of sleep the night before, so. I slept like a baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were just saying without the altitude tent though. How does that feel? Waking up? Uh, a little easier. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can breathe sea level air when I get up in the morning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got a pretty tough one today, Alex. Hopefully, I am still not convinced my heel is gonna hold up, but I'll do a full warm up, and if I can't run, I will lift. So. Well, what's the workout supposed to be? If I can do it, it is a 500 uh, coming through uh, under 56.5 in 400, and then full recovery or 10 minutes, and then three by 150. Uh, bye. All right, so um, Josh's flight got canceled due to a snowstorm in Halifax. So that means that he's not gonna be here until probably like 10 o'clock tonight. So he's gonna be flying from like noon, our time, I think. And then a six hour layover in Toronto and then he'll be able to get onto a plane to Boston, so. Tori McIntyre and I run for the Arctics in the 200 meter. It was really beautiful, a very nice track. From what I understand, it's hydraulic powered. I was honestly blown away. I love how it had open windows, which brought natural light. Oh, the track is amazing. It's it's a very fast surface. It's as fast as I thought it was going to be. Like, you know, it feels like it feels like all those great tracks, those great surfaces at Oregon, Spokane, Washington, Texas Tech, all those fast, fast surfaces. Honestly, the nicest indoor track that I've ever been to. Great for spectators. Like when I was there racing on Saturday, there was a ton of energy with everybody in the crowd. Every time I like take a step right now, my heel is like shooting pain. So I think I'm gonna be in the weight room today, unfortunately, which is kind of a bummer because I feel really fit and like ready to go and the rest of the body feels good, but yeah, no running for me today, sadly. Uh, three times a kilometer <laughs> at race pace. <laughs> workout was a five minute tempo, uh, three times a K, and then three times 500 meters. Tempo before my workout, so it's just a fatigue. I think we have different definitions of what tempo means. <laughs> we do a lot of tempo before we go inside. That, that, no, that, no. What, tempo before the workout? Apparently a tempo is something completely different when you're talking sprinting. So that, <laughs> that just completely threw me off. But yeah, I thought that was a very interesting combo. <laughs> How's your long run? Good, nice and easy. It was quite windy. I went out and the wind was behind me. I was like, oh, this feels so good. And then I turned around. I was getting like a hurricane in my face. <laughs> um, so. Oh, I got a little, I stopped pushing as good as I could here, actually. 
yeah, it was a solid workout. Took a few runs to get used to the bank, but we figured that out, so. Locks went pretty well for what it was. You know, I was dealing with a, a little bit of pain in my leg, but other than that, it was good. This morning, I did not get the opportunity to go to the New Balance track yet. I had some work meetings that took up my time, so I will be doing my training this afternoon, which means that tomorrow when I go to the track, it's gonna be the first time I see it, and I'm really excited. There's the fun song. Yeah, Tori and I are gonna make dinner for everybody, so um, we're having a chicken stir fry. I spent another 150 USD on food, so I really hope this lasts till the end of the week, because we basically have our budget capped. Yeah. We've got uh, some red pep, some mushrooms, some onions, broccoli. Is it, some, is it something that you cook a lot? Um, yeah, actually it is. <laughs> Probably weekly. I know I just um. Look at the flick of the wrist. Look at the flick of the wrist. <laughs> I'm attempting to make a peanut saute sauce with minimal ingredients and limes with not much juice. <laughs> I have Brendan over here doing his job. That's the secret to R&B right there. Point, make it rain, wash the crowd. Point, scream, point, rain. Point. Very quickly, we're getting ready to eat. And leave for the Celtics game. And this is what we made. I thought it was pretty good. That's it. So pumped. I mean, other than the Grand Prix, Celtics game, I've never been to an NBA game, so I am, and I'm a huge NBA fan, so it's gonna be really cool to see the Boston Celtics. I have my own like jersey and stuff that I brought, and uh, I'm, I'm hyped for the Celtics game. Like, this was something that I was looking forward to for like months. <laughs> What a game. Like, I love basketball. Like, the Celtics were down 15 points at one point, like 16 points, I don't even know. It was a slow start for the Celtics, I'm not gonna lie. But it was really cool, the Celtics came back and they won and it was like electric in the second half. Like, they were nuts, like back and forth. Worth all the money, like all the money. I wanna go back, <laughs> so I might go back. <laughs>